Your name is Light Yagami, and you're a high school student disgusted with how rotten the world is, who by chance finds a magical notebook that can kill people by just writing their names on its pages. You recognize this notebook as your chance to rid the world of evil people, but are you making mistakes with how you're going about doing this? I'm gonna break down the mistakes made by Light Yagami, what he should have done, and how to beat the police in Death Note Season 1, Episode 1. Before we start the video, I just need like 15 seconds to quickly advertise to you. Subscribe to Show Splanation so you don't miss future breakdowns of your favorite shows. We have a Patreon in the description that you can donate to to support the YouTube channel. And don't forget to visit MeBomber.com for cool and funny clothing. The website is MeBomber.com. It's in the description. Alright, back to the video. On the walk home from high school, Light Yagami stops to listen to various murders being reported via public television. He thinks to himself, Day in and day out, the same news, on permanent repeat. This is all so ridiculous. This world is rotten. The next day, Light is in English class not paying attention to the lecture and looking out the window when he sees a mysterious notebook fall out the sky onto the schoolyard. It intrigues him and after class he walks over to pick up the notebook titled Death Note. He opens the Death Note and the first pages describe the rules and how to use the magic notebook. The rules that are written in the Death Note are as follows. Number one, the human whose name is written in this note shall die. Number two, this note will not take effect unless the writer has the person's face in their mind when writing his slash her name. Therefore, people sharing the same name will not be affected. Number three, if the cause of death is written within 40 seconds of writing the person's name, it will happen. Number four, if the cause of death is not specified, the person will simply die of a heart attack. Number five, after writing the cause of death, details of the death should be written in the next 6 minutes and 40 seconds. At first, Light doesn't take the notebook seriously, but curiosity gets the better of him, and he decides to try it out. Light's first test subject is a criminal on live TV who is involved in a hostage situation. After the news broadcast discloses the criminal's name and face, Light has everything he needs to test if the notebook works. And it works! The hostage taker mysteriously dies of a heart attack. But Light is still not completely convinced that this was not just a coincidence. This was Light's first mistake. Staying under the radar and not giving the police clues is priority number one. You should not be killing people who are currently on the news. Doing that just provides the police with easily reviewable evidence for them to later analyze that helps them recognize patterns or clues if you continue to kill people in this way. If you keep killing people on TV, you are essentially presenting the police on a silver platter, a puzzle for them to solve. What Light should have done was test the notebook on more low-key targets, like testing the notebook out on terminally ill old people in a hospital that want to die. Or test the notebook out on the sickest, most twisted criminal alone in a jail cell at your nearest prison. You're a high school student. It's no problem to get yourself a volunteer opportunity at a hospital or prison. Just say you want to job shadow or add some community service to your resume for college admissions. The story picks up with Light walking home from test prep lessons. He walks by a young woman being harassed by motorcycle thugs. She rejects their advances and they start forcefully touching her body and taking her pants off. Light has another opportunity to test out the notebook. He watches and listens to the motorcycle thugs harassing the woman from the inside of a nearby convenience store. One of the thugs says the name of their leader, which Light writes down in the death note. The thug dies due to a traffic accident while chasing the girl who is running away from him, just like Light wrote down in the notebook, and Light is finally convinced that this death note is the real deal. This was a good kill by Light. Unlike the first test subject, this kill was not on television, plus a motorcycle rider who is too busy chasing down a girl to pay attention to traffic, who then gets hit by a truck, looks completely accidental. It would be next to impossible for the police to connect the dots back to light with this kill. The story picks up with Ryuk, the Shinigami who the Death Note belongs to, visiting Light in his bedroom. Ryuk is impressed that in just five days Light has already killed hundreds of people with the notebook. Almost all of the Death Note victims were killed by a heart attack because Light was too careless or lazy to specify unique deaths for each person. The default death is by heart attack if you don't specify how you want the person to die. This is Light's second and biggest mistake in this episode. Japan has some of the lowest rates of heart disease in the world. It's ridiculously suspicious for hundreds of criminals to randomly die of a heart attack in just five days. Speaking of five days, Light also didn't do himself any favors killing so many people the same way in such a short period. 
It would be less likely that the police notice something strange going on if Light was only more patient and spaced out the period between writing people's names in the death note. The story picks up with Light and Ryuk having a conversation about their motivations. Ryuk said his motivation for randomly dropping the notebook in the human world was because he is bored. Shinigami live a very boring existence in the Shinigami realm. They have nothing to do but sit around and gamble with each other. Light discloses his intention to kill every criminal in the world, in as public a way as possible, to scare the general population from committing crimes. He wants the world to know that someone out there is passing judgment on the wicked. Fear is a powerful deterrent. But there's a fundamental problem with Light's actions. He's writing in the Death Note names of criminals and wicked people that he learns about from television, newspapers, or the internet. But how do you truly know that someone is guilty of a crime, especially when you're just a third party with no intimate knowledge of the details surrounding a situation? There are plenty of innocent people that are suspected or convicted of committing a crime. And there are plenty of supposedly wicked people that don't deserve their bad reputation or who are misunderstood. There are two sides to many stories. Essentially, just the public reputation of being a bad person is enough to get yourself killed by the Death Note. Can you call this justice? It's impossible for innocent people to not be caught up in Light's Death Note killing spree. Does this not make Light as bad or worse than the people he is passing judgment upon? The episode wraps up with Light writing more names in the Death Note and a montage of more people dropping like flies. Then Light proudly retells the Shinigami how he's going to use the Death Note to single-handedly create a new world free of injustice and entirely populated by people that he judges as being honest, kind, and hardworking. Ryuk responds that if Light did that, it would make him the only bad person left. Light retorts that he has no idea what Ryuk is talking about. He's a hard-working honor student who's considered to be one of Japan's best and brightest. In Light's mind, there's nothing wrong with what he's doing, and there's no way that he can be considered a part of the bad people category that needs to be killed. He thinks his actions only make him a hero or savior of the world. Jeez, the arrogance and lack of self-awareness that this kid displays are incredible. But what do you think? What would you do differently if you were Light? Let me know with a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more of these kinds of videos. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you liked the video. Until next time, have a great day.